I've been selling on the Amazon platform for 42 months now, but here's four things that I wish I knew sooner. Number one, to do basic models, you don't need to spend thousands on a course to get started. There's many YouTube tutorials, especially for online arbitrage and retail arbitrage, etc. That doesn't mean that one day you might not want to invest in your education. That doesn't mean that, and I'm not slagging anyone off that does. But to start with, if you're doing a basic model like RA or online arbitrage, look at many tutorials that are on YouTube and you should be able to get yourself started. Number two, I deeply wish that I believed in myself and actually the Amazon opportunity a lot more than what I did. I always used to think that it was sort of scammy and and, and not possible and sort of like, you know, well, if I do it, everyone else could do it, you know? Why doesn't everyone do it if, if you can do it, you know? I, I just thought it was too good to be true, but actually when I started doing it, I realized that when you start making money in it, when you start compounding your experience and your knowledge, that and the time in the game is what's the difference between you winning and others that are not winning. It's sticking to it like any other business, like you can do in any business. Stick with it and you get better as the years go on, but it's not a get rich quick. Three, I wish I was more decisive quicker when it comes to the strategy that I was going to use long term on Amazon. I've talked about this before. Most people divert in online arbitrage and then retail arbitrage and then they do bundles and then they go into something else and then they're trying to look into other ways of selling and wholesale and stuff no 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 no. it's all about focus so whatever you focus on grows once you pick a model that works for you it could be ra oa wholesale bundles whatever it does focus on that for at least a year build the momentum up on that start making money in the business which is the main thing once you've got the money the more resources the more confidence that that money brings in that income then at that stage then you can decide what your long-term model is going to be you can't always see what you think you're what you think you know in the early days okay you have to stick with it sometimes to see other opportunities once you've got an income generating model that's working for you in some sort of way even if it's not making you a millionaire stick with it get good at what you don't like necessarily doing and i promise you rewards will come at a later date but you have to stick with stuff before, I wish I networked more in groups. Um, so Facebook groups, for example, I wish I spent more time in them to start with and actually started networking with people, meeting up with coffees for people, talking to people on DMs and then having phone calls with them and stuff like that. Because when you speak to some sellers that are on a much bigger level than you, it forces you to level up your thinking. Let, let, get, let me give you an example. I know a seller that spends 100,000 every single month, soon to be 200,000 on stock. I probably spent, I think last last week or the week before, my company spent probably 8,000, 8,500. We spend a fair amount a week, that is, per week. Um, but he's spending 25,000 a week. Um, and just him saying that has forced me to level up. And now I'm starting to think of ways that I can start doubling my spend at least and then tripling it, etc. The people that you surround yourself with will not only open up opportunities to you, but they'll open up your level of thinking to ways that you didn't think was possible. I hope you like that video. If you do, please make sure you like the video, follow, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel for the more in-depth content. See you in the next video.